Hello and welcome to a duck game tutorial thing where I'm going to show you how to make custom hats. Uh, so these are pretty cool. Uh, you've of course got the fun default hats which is a pretty cool feature in game. But uh, these, this allows you to make uh, any hat you want pretty much. There's a couple limitations and uh, use it in game. So you can make like a Mario hat if you like Mario. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So first you're going to want to go to this site here. It's Quackhead dot com or whatever I don't know uh, what it's called specifically but it's just quackhead and uh, you're gonna want to hit instructions which I already have open here you're gonna want to save this second template um, save it and uh, just save that and once you have that saved you're gonna want to bring it up in an editing software which I already have open here uh, now Adobe Photoshop works um, paint.net works and like things like I think GIMP works Anything that'll allow you to add a second trans, like a translucent clear layer. So that's what we're going to do here first. So, uh, yeah. So you just draw your hat. There's like a kind of middle area here that you don't want to go past. Otherwise, it'll be like floating on this side and floating on this side. So uh, what each of these sides represents is kind of a bit obvious, I guess. You probably guessed by now. But this side is the static kind of normal head or uh, place where you put the hat. And this is the quack animation side. So whatever you draw on this side, you'll walk around with. And then whenever you quack, it'll change to this. So uh, that's pretty cool. So we're just going to give him, um, uh, uh, I don't know, just a mustache, I guess. Here's his mustache. A pretty cool mustache, I guess. So yeah, this, uh, this can be used in the single player challenges. And it can also be used in any multiplayer lobby. It, it's not like the workshop hats where it has to everybody in the lobby has to download them it's not like a mod so yeah I've made a cowboy I guess essentially and we'll give him a little yellow star down here because you can actually do little uh, body body additions here because it's kind of you can make it a bit like a costume uh, now one kind of warning with that is that anything below that there is a little waist part with the legs so it could make it look a little weird which I've learned um, and it does in fact make it look a little weird so I just recommend sticking with like a hat or something simple um, and uh, so there we've got his little gold star we'll make like a little dark center there that's perfect so he is the sheriff cowboy and uh, where's it there we go I'm going to now make the quack animation side. So his hat's going to be going off his head because he's so startled um, by the rootin' tootin' bandits that have run into town. Uh, he is just uh, blown away, probably literally, by the bandits. So his hat's flying off his head. His mustache has gone straight up, like so. And uh, his star is uh, remaining calm in the in the presence of uh, these rough bandits, I guess. Um, but it has moved position slightly, I think. I don't know. I can't exactly tell. I'm actually blind, believe it or not. Um, so there. Uh, we've got our hat. So you've animated your hat now. Uh, you've got this kind of normal layer and this quack layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete this first um, template layer. That was just to show us where the cowboy or the duck was, <laughs> the, the cow duck, the duck was. And so we could figure out where we wanted the hat on the duck. So now that we've got our hat, we just save it. Uh, so save as, because uh, you want to probably keep the template for future uh, hat making. Make sure it's a PNG. And uh, we're going to make him a uh, sheriff, or cowboy Joe. And uh, save it right to the desktop. So we can close that out. Uh, no, we don't want to save. Okay, so I'm just going to open up a folder here uh, for the next part. But uh, first, you're going to want to go back to Quackhead. Um, and you're going to want to hit add team. So. Uh, now you're going to get Cowboy Joe up, and it'll bring it right up on the website. So that's what it's going to look like in-game with the different colored ducks, which is pretty cool. So we're going to name this uh, 
Startled Cowboy. Or, uh, whoa. Wow, ha, ha, ha. So that's what's going to appear in-game above the hat. Um, so yeah. So you've got that. Now you just export it as a .hat file. Okay, and then you drag and drop that. And uh, if you ever want to change your hat, you can go back to this file and uh, kind of color back over it, I guess. Um, but you can just drop that to the side. Um, but uh, yeah, so you take this .hat file and you're going to go over to this folder I opened and go to Program Files 86, uh, Steam, and then down to uh, Steam Apps, Common, and then find your duck game. So, you get your duck cam files open, and this is the easiest part. You just drop that file in. That's it. Your duck, uh, your uh, duck game hat, your custom hat is now in duck game. That's all you have to do. And uh, now, if you go in duck game, in a minute, uh, I'll show you uh, the custom hat. And uh, yeah, so you can actually send that file, copy it, and send it to like a friend if you want a friend to use that same hat. Uh, it will not it will not let you be a team though if you're using the same hat that is one thing uh, but yeah you can both use the hat that kind of thing so that's how you make the custom hats okay so I'm just gonna quickly show you in game that the hat does in fact work so I'm just gonna jump in a lobby here and uh, I gotta find it here it is so this is our hat We've got our little uh, sheriff star there. See, it does kind of glitch when he crouches. That is that is the downside of putting something on like their body. Um, but the hat works fine, as you can see. And uh, you can go like challenge arcade. I can show you in the challenge arcade. But yeah, so that's how you make quick, easy, uh, custom duck game hats. And uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, I've got a couple of hats I've made. Uh, and I have a video about some like payday hats and stuff, so uh, check those out, and uh, thanks for watching.